Good morning. <laughs> I mean, this is as real and raw as it gets. Wow. Spend the day with me. First up is Orange Theory. I self tan last night. How does it look? Can't really see, right? I got a couple of things that need to get done per usual. We'll just see what the day holds for us, okay? I need to get dressed right now though, or I'm gonna be late. And I always am late. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Can't stop yawning. Now you can see the tan better. Mm -hmm. I really need to allocate like one day to cleaning, laundry, bed, like washing my sheets, vacuuming, the whole thing. But will I? I cannot forget there is someone coming to pick up my old carpet at 11 o'clock. I sold on Facebook Marketplace. Thank God I was just, I just want to get rid of it. It's actually going to be used in a play. It's like a piece of the set. They were looking for, I guess, a gray and beige carpet. I don't know. <laughs> but I was like, yep, take it. Oh my gosh. Excuse me while I chug this water. That was an intense workout. Oh my Lord, I'm sweating so bad. Showered, dressed, I did a little makeup. Actually, I did like a full look. I did a whole TikTok video on it. So if you wanna see all the products, I'll link it below for you. Next, we have to do jewelry. I cannot leave the house without earrings at least. And that is the bare minimum. I'm working with Ana Luisa and showing you guys some of their jewelry that I have been wearing non-stop. You've probably already seen it. You're like, yeah, girl, this is old news. I love jewelry and especially dainty jewelry that does not tarnish, hypoallergenic, high quality, all good stuff. I'm gonna start with these earrings. I'll link each exact style below. Don't pay attention to my one nail. We know I broke it. It's almost a braided type of gold hoop. How gorgeous are these? And these are the perfect size. I'm in my era of mixing silver and gold. Okay, now that I stacked a little silver earring for the second hole, I'm gonna go ahead and add another piece of Ana Luisa jewelry. I have yet to wear these. I've been saving them. These are gold daggers. I'm gonna put one of these in my third piercing. I'm super into mixing and matching and just stacking the ear full of earrings. So cute. Oh my gosh, sir. I also just love an edgy moment. You know what I mean? A skull, a dagger, an X. <laughs> these are small and dainty enough. I could easily get away with this right here. It wouldn't be too big for the ear at all. And summer's coming up. I know I'm gonna be stacked full of jewelry every single day, whether I'm in the water or out of the water. So thank God for Ana Luisa, cause I know none of this will tarnish. I'm gonna add on this gold ring as well. It has kind of a starburst pattern right here, which I think is gorgeous. I'm already wearing my necklace from Ana Luisa. It's two chain links and they have little diamantes on them as well. So I will put their website right below sir with the barking it also makes a great gift it comes in these beautiful little pouches with a magnetic clasp so everything is top level high quality best of the best i'm adding the direct links to each piece that i got in the description below if you want to take a little look see and see if there's something you can't live without on their website there probably is let's make some coffee i am beyond thrilled right now because i've been craving fresh spring rolls for, okay, I was about to say weeks. It's been like two days, but I can't find the rice paper wrappers anywhere, like at any store near me. So I ordered them on Amazon, cheese, which means we're gonna make them tonight. So excited. Oh heck yeah, and these are the big ones too. Yes, it is on soft and strong. <laughs> I haven't made spring rolls since I lived in Richmond and the other day I just had this realization like I used to make this dinner. I can eat like six of these. Easy. That means I need to go to the store and get ingredients for this so y'all are obviously coming with me. I'm feeling so sappy and grateful today. Just amazing vibes today. And if you're watching this, I love you. Now we add the creamer, potentially the most important part of coffee. Oh yeah, still on my Chobani white chocolate raspberry kick. I don't know if there's any creamer that could top this one for me. We'll see. I like all of the Chobani flavors, especially like the limited edition ones. Their Christmas ones are amazing as well. Mm. I'm gonna keep it so real with you guys right now. I have been neglecting my room and laundry 100%. I mean, this is actually the situation. Now these are all clean, they're just drying. Well, they were dry like two days ago. 
unpacked suitcases, clothes on the floor. Clothes on the floor again. This is clean, but it needs to be folded. I keep my laundry pods in these little plastic things. I think I got them from at home, but it just makes it so cute. I don't know, it's a fun idea. And can't forget about the scent beads. Lush is my favorite flavor. I think it's downy. I don't know, but I have never used anything different for like three years. It's just my scent. It's actually called Sophia is the, the name of the scent, yeah. Now let's get these clothes out of the dryer, add them to the pile. My phone kind of tilted a little bit, but we're all done. Now I'm gonna grab everything off of this railing. So a little backstory, I don't, <laughs> amazing. I never dry my workout clothes like in the dryer. I always air dry them because I just think it makes them last longer and they maintain their like elasticity, their shape much better. So I wash them regularly, but I air dry them every single piece of workout clothing. It is exactly as if I just bought it brand new. So that's my pro tip. Also, I always get questions on which sport bra, sport, sports bras I wear. They're from Victoria's Secret. I like them because they have a double enclosure moment. Anyways, this is what they look like, all right? So there's two layers. The first one is a clasp. Okay, and then the second layer goes over and it zips. These are the only sports bras that I have found. Well, I guess I haven't really tried that many because these work for me, but if I ever actually need good support, this is the bra that I'm gonna wear, a thousand percent. If I'm running, this is on my body. I was trying to think the other day, I've had, I have a bunch of different colors. This specific one I have had since high school. They last me my life. They will go to the grave with me. Okay, we're about to go to Publix, but guys, I swear I'm not trying to be dramatic. I filmed a TikTok on this makeup look earlier. I edited, posted it. I actually took some Instagram pictures so that I can like, this is my thinking at least as like a creator. If I post a TikTok and then I also post Instagram pictures, I can like cross promote them and be like, this is how the makeup looked like photographed, you know? So. Two things going up at the same time. My video will not post. And I literally want to cry about it, but I'm not going to because that's dramatic, but it's so annoying. It's at zero views, it's being processed. Guys, guess what? It posted, it finally posted. Oh, you can't even see. It posted, thank God. I did not want to be in a bad mood, I really didn't. Okay, I'm back. Let me show you what I got, is this a better angle? Cornstarch so I can make my tofu crispy because I'm gonna put tofu in the spring rolls. This peanut satay sauce, it was the only peanut sauce they had. I'm willing to try anything. A cucumber, three shredded carrots because I usually cut them by myself and that's just too much. And these were on sale. An avocado, two Ben and Jerry's ice creams. They were buy one, get one free. Like, can you blame me? I got, give me s'more, which I've never tried before. And um, milk and cookies, which I have never tried before either. It was slim pickings. They didn't really have many flavors left. So these sounded good. I also got a bag of this ravioli and tortellina, tortellina, ballerina. They were buy one, get one. And I just figured I'd probably eat them at some point, so. It's giving mother, it's giving stocked freezer, it's giving providing for a family, you know. First thing I need to do is prepare my ingredients. I need to chop up this cucumber. I also slice this and my tofu, hold on. I got this pre-seasoned tofu at Publix a week ago or something. It's teriyaki, so that's fine with me. I usually just use plain tofu, more seasoning. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> if you know, you know. My 
little tofu sticks are done. Some of the cornstarch didn't like melt in, I guess. I don't know. It looks interesting, but I, I don't care. I'm eating it. I have some water on this plate. And what I'm gonna do is take one of the rice paper sheets, completely submerge it. Oh, come here. Flip it over. Lay it on the plate. Now I'm gonna add my filling. So some cucumbers, little carrot, a couple of avocado slices, some tofu, a little more carrot. And then I usually just try to think of it like a burrito. Okay, here we go. Oh wait, that's the wrong plate. Oopsies. And then we just repeat it. Now, I never said they were gonna look pretty. I just said they were gonna be fresh spring rolls. <laughs> but I got six out of all the ingredients. They are packed full. I am so set up right now. I have my peanut sauce, a little soy sauce, my water, my 12,000 spring rolls, and I'm watching Orange is the New Black. Mm -hmm. 